evaluate limit limit x approaching 0 for square root x plus 1 minus 1 divided by x. So let's substitute x equals to 0 and see if we can really find limit by direct substitution. So if we do that, then we get square root of 0 plus 1 minus 1 divided by 0, which is 1 minus 1, 0 over 0. So as you know now, whenever by substitution you get 0 over 0, that really means that there is a common factor in numerator and denominator which could be simplified and then we can find the limit. At present that is meaningless, correct? But it gives you a very important hint. So let's do that. So how to simplify a square root function? The best way to simplify a square root function is rationalize, right? Rationalize. So you have square root of x plus 1 minus 1. Let's rationalize it. So we can write this as limit x approaches 0 of square root of x plus 1 minus 1 over x. What is rationalization? It means multiplying by its conjugate. Conjugate means this minus becomes plus. Why do we do so? So we multiply and divide by square root of x plus 1 plus 1. Why do we do so? We do it because it helps us to get rid of the square root and simplify it. Why? Because, you know what? A, square, a plus b times a minus b is what? a plus b times a minus b is a square minus b square. Okay? Since this is like a minus b here, right? a minus b times this is a plus b. What is this equal to? This is equal to a square minus b square. So when you do square of a square root, you get rid of square root, right? So that is the reason. So let's do it. And we get limit x approaches 0. And in the numerator, we get a square minus b square. a square is x plus 1. Minus b square, 1 square is 1. And in the denominator, don't expand. Write as factors. Correct? That is a simple rule. Follow this rule to get correct solution in minimum number of steps. That is important. Save your time. Now here, you see in the numerator, what do we get? x 1 minus 1 is 0, right? So we get only x, right? So we x over x within square root we get x plus 1 plus 1. Now we can cancel these x's, right? x divided by x is 1. Cancelling means writing 1 instead, okay? x approaches 0 and the function simplifies to 1 over square root of x plus 1 plus 1. Now if you substitute 0 for x, what do you get? We get 1 over square root of 1 plus 1 which is 1 over 2. So half is our answer for this limit. Okay. Thank you.